Hi, my name is Mandy Milner, and I'm one of the counselors at Penn State CAPS. There's a lot going on right now, and most of us feel, well, a little off balance. Grounding is a category of techniques that can help us restore some of that balance. Grounding is a way of bringing yourself back into the present moment. Think of a tree with strong roots keeping it anchored into the soil so it can grow tall and withstand wind and storms. Similarly, grounding techniques can help us stay steady through difficult experiences and emotions. You may find grounding techniques helpful when you're feeling stressed, distracted, anxious or worried, or otherwise disconnected from the present moment. So where do we start? There are a variety of techniques you can use to help ground yourself. On the next few slides, I'll run through three exercises that are particularly good for beginning the practice of grounding. For the first exercise, look around the room that you're in right now and describe what you see. Go ahead, right now, see if you can find something in this room that you've never really noticed before. Maybe it's the place where the walls and the ceiling connect or how the light hits an object in a certain way. Try to describe it out loud to yourself as if you're seeing it for the very first time. For the second exercise, use your senses to tune into the present. Practice naming five things you can see in this room right now, four things you can feel, feel free to touch something if you need to, three things you can hear, two things you can smell right now, and one thing you can taste. For the third exercise, start at 100 and count backwards by sevens, out loud if possible. It's okay if you mess up. This is supposed to be hard and take a lot of focus. That's actually what makes it helpful. So go ahead, try it. If you'd like more information about ways to ground yourself, or you just need some support during this time, please reach out to CAPS at 814-863-0395. We're open and ready to help. Or you can visit our website, studentaffairs.psu.edu counseling for more resources like this.